This video will demonstrate how to perform the continuity of earthing system tests device setting. To test the continuity of the earthing system, you need a low reading ohm meter, preferably one with a 3 ohm setting. You may need a trailing lead to reach from the switchboard to each earth location in the installation. Device setup. Prior to testing, check that the battery is OK by selecting the battery check Battery OK. Inspect the test probes, the testing leads, and place them in the correct terminals of the meter. Select the 3 ohm scale and identify the scale on the meter. Short the leads together and press the test button and zero the resistance of the testing leads and any trailing lead with the zero ohm adjust button. Measure a low value of resistance. Circuit setup. Disconnect the MEN link at every switchboard. Disconnect the main earthing adapter from the earth bar in the switchboard. Disconnect any parallel paths, for example, conductive building materials, water pipes, and gas pipes. Continuity stroke resistance of the main earthing conductor test. To test the resistance of the main earthing conductor, place one probe on the disconnected main earthing conductor in the switchboard and place the other probe on the earth electrode. Press the test button and record the resistance value. The test result must be less than the maximum resistance of 0.5 ohms. Zero point one five ohms. Approximately zero ohms. To test the resistance of the equipped potential bonding conductors. Ensure parallel paths are disconnected. Remember to zero a training lead if you're using one with the meter. Connect the training lead to the conductive material or pipe and place one probe to the training lead. Place the other probe to the disconnected equip potential bond in the switchboard. The test result must be less than the maximum resistance of 0 0.5 ohms. The parallel paths on this board are on the hot water service and I've disconnected the protective earth. All I need test is on the water pipe itself and ensure that I'm getting a result of less than 0.5. I have a result of 0.05 ohms. I then do the other equip potential bonds which is at the Rio. And I should also do the hot water Again, 0 0.05 ohms. Continuity stroke resistance of protective earths may be conducted in two ways. Method 1 measures the earth resistance as an individual cable and may require a training lead. If using a training lead, zero the training lead at the meter. 
Connect the training lead to the earth location and place one probe to the training lead. Place the other probe to the earth bar. The test result must be less than the table 8.2 RE value. Lighting circuit. Resistance 0.1 of an ohm. When testing socket outlets, use the plug top. Place the probe onto the earth pin. Result, almost zero. This GPO circuit power one has got two socket outlets. You must confirm the earth is present at each one of them. You go along, confirming at each earth location inside the main switchboard has got a compliant earth. Recording the values as you progress and confirming with AS3000 table 8.2 that your results are compliant. Once you've done the main switchboard, go over to the distribution board and do the same again. Remembering to do each earth location, regardless of how many points there are on the socket outlet. You are now ready to conduct insulation resistance testing.